<laughs> the queen bee is here. Okay, hey guys, what's up? I'm Hong Jung Long Guest. And I'm B. Welcome to Asian at Home. home. Oh my goodness, B yes. is back. And guess what? We dressed up a little bit with the flower I know, the clothes. Unplanned. Right? Unplanned, like, right? We, I know, with the unplanned. We didn't we didn't talk about it, we just accidentally just happened. I know, just like our last video, we had a break. <laughs> unplanned too. <laughs> we just we just have a little bit of going I know. On. So, anyways, so if you have watched our uh, Boon Bo Hui video that she released all the secrets and tips how to make the world best Boon Bo Hui. Did I say right this time? Yep. Boon Bo Hui. Mm -hmm. sure Watch did. it right here. Click it right here. The link is right here. I'll put the card right here. But today, what you gonna show us? Boon Ryu. Boon right. Ryu, another hot noodle soup dish. Yep. Originated from Vietnam. So it's um, crab and tomato noodle soup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had this in, uh, in Vietnam whenever we went to Vietnam yeah, together. Sure. Yeah. It was so good. Yeah, you killed the whole bowl. I <laughs> haven't had yours yet. Yeah. You'll I haven't it. had the hers yet. I, I know that will be the best one. So first step, what we need to do. Okay. So uh, we'll start so off. Huh? I'm so sorry. Oh, <laughs> you just threw me off. <laughs> sorry. Okay. okay. First, so we'll take care of like whatever that takes the longest. Uh -huh. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the pork first because uh -huh. we're gonna actually achieve our broth from pork. You can use anywhere between four to five pounds of pork bones. Mm -hmm. You can also use chicken bones. Mm -hmm. You can use other pork meats and stuff or mm -hmm. pork bones. But today we're gonna use pork ribs, mm -hmm. pork riblets because we're gonna eat it too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We like it. But mm -hmm. uh, a cheating way. You can also substitute with canned chicken broth. But we are gonna make a really deep flavor with the pork bones. So what we need to do with the pork bones? Okay, so let's go ahead and get it chopped up first. So you want to do some, and I do some, or I yeah, can take yeah. care of okay, this. Yeah, I can take care of like this, like yeah. this one mm -hmm. right here. Because we have plastic cutting board that we need to share right here. So this is a uh, pork spare ribs, and then we just ask the butcher to pretty much uh, go down, chop it in threes. Uh -huh. So you get about like two inch pieces. Ah, oh, nice, nice. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. This is actually like um, if you just deep fry and toss whatever sauce you on the toss. Yeah. Delicious. Or make Vietnamese caramelized uh, pork riblets too. Oh, that sounds good too. Maybe you should show that too. Yeah. Next Remember time. we had some when we were in the Nam too? Uh -huh. we, we had some when uh, we went out to lunch with Helen. Oh yeah, yeah, Helen's recipe. If you guys haven't um, checked her, her recipe yet, she cooks all kinds of Vietnamese cooking, food recipes. It's so awesome. Go ahead and check it out. And then we actually did a little bit of in Da Nang and uh, it was fun. And all the food that she let us was yeah. phenomenal. Loved it. I like this little short ribs like that. I know, it's so, so cute. cute. I know. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and start uh, parboiling these bones just mm -hmm. to remove all the residues because you know, yeah. Vietnamese broth, everything is about clarity. So we're gonna go parboil these bones. So mm -hmm. to pretty much remove all the residues, we're just gonna boil it for five minutes. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, rinse it under cold water and then start a new stock pot. Okay, so we just drop all the pork ribs into the boiling water. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the noodles. Okay, so uh, pretty much for Mung Hyo, uh, the noodles is a lot finer than uh -huh. when we made like the spicy beef noodles. Mm -hmm. So this is the super fine noodles, and of course this is pretty much almost the same size. It just depends on what brand you like, mm -hmm. but um, we just got both just in case. So in any thin rice noodles, a rice shape that will work, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So while the pork is blanching, it, we are all oh we're gonna cook the noodles. So we're gonna cook the noodles as well. Yeah. All right. Follow the direction of the package you're using. Okay. Yep. We want to do it earlier, earlier in the step, just so that way the noodle has time to dry out. Yeah. It's like yeah. a a bun bo hai. So yeah. the same thing. We cook the noodles. We let it dry. Yeah. When you pour the soup, it soaks up all yeah. the flavor. Yeah. Oh, right. It's so good. Yeah, these are pretty, eat, it's pretty clean. Mm. I just want to grab an A, but it's not cooked. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. So um, now we're going to go ahead and start our new stock pot. Uh -huh. 
Um, we'll go ahead and put these back in and mm -hmm. we're gonna fill it up with water. This is the part where you can actually use chicken broth. So three large cans mm -hmm. of chicken broth, the big ones, mm -hmm. not the little 14 ounce. Three cans of chicken broth plus one can of water. And I normally use Swanson. That's the brand I like. You like? Because it has like be better chicken flavor, you know? Mm, okay. If not, um, you can go like it's this It's not way. sponsored. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can go this way and then, you know, get the sweetness from the bones as yeah. well. So we'll go ahead and pour the water in. Mm -hmm. I think that's about that much. That mm -hmm. looks good. <laughs> How much is that much? <laughs> That was a six quart of water. So now we're gonna add some rock sugar candy to give it a little sweetness uh, mm -hmm. to the broth. And then we're also gonna add some dry shrimp. They're pretty much dehydrated shrimp. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Yeah, you can easily find this even in internet. I will put the link down below so you guys can go ahead and check it out. Or your local Asian market. Like one cup? Yeah. A rock piece about a tablespoon. Okay. So, is that rock sugar flavor different than regular sugar? That's right. Um, it has a more subtle sweetness. Okay, so we're gonna just go ahead and add about two teaspoons of salt into the pot. So we got our stock pot ready to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're gonna bring it back to boil mm -hmm. to become tender and all the flavor comes out from the pork. So bring it to boil, mm -hmm. reduce the heat to medium, yes. and let it simmer for like 40 to 50 minutes. Yes. Okay, meanwhile, so what we're we gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and prepare all the vegetables and garnishes that goes along with this whole dish. Awesome. Yeah. So I see cilantro. Yes, eat it to prep. So we have cilantro, mm -hmm. and of course, um, we have banana flour. Uh huh. Okay. And if you don't have banana flour, you can also use uh, morning glory. Yeah. Like that usually goes with that too. Uh huh. Um, you use the stem part and then you shred it up. But mm -hmm. today we don't have it, so we're fine with banana flour for today. Awesome. Okay. And I actually, she showed how to do with the banana blossom exactly on the Bumbo Way video too. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, green lettuce. Mm -hmm. And then of course you cannot have mungir without perilla leaves. Mm -hmm. Okay. So <laughs> we are working on just on the garnish right now. Mm -hmm. While we're like in between doing stuff, make sure that you do uh -huh. stir the noodles mm -hmm. um, pretty much so that way it could fluff up. You don't want dense noodle. Our garnish is all ready to go. The banana leaves, the lettuce, green lettuce, cilantro, some perilla leaves, they are all good to go. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and deal with the tomatoes now. Mm -hmm. um, we'll just go ahead and cut them into wedges because oh. um, for Mungu, you have to have tomatoes. It's just mm -hmm. part of it. Tomatoes, um, you know, the crab meat, mm -hmm. of course, uh, the perilla leaves, the garnishing, the noodles. Uh, by the way, I just want to inform you guys, B is actually not able to eat this soup. Yes. Because she's allergic to shellfish. The shellfish has legs on, she's allergic to shrimp and crab. <laughs> so, um, but she's really good at cooking this. Why? Because my family loves it and my husband still eats shellfish, so and, it's okay. Uh, and you used to eat, able to eat yeah. before. Yeah, I became allergic to um, shellfish when I was like about 25. Mm -hmm. So it's been like 15 years now, so I'm kind of used to it by now. But I still cook everything. My so, family loves this dish. It comes out. I cook it pretty much every like holiday. But you can't even taste it if it's like taste right or how do you make it so perfect? Because everybody just like diving into it and she doesn't yeah. even taste it. Yeah. Like how that happens. But you make it so often, you kind of know exactly what goes in and about the amount. And of course, I use my husband to taste everything too. Um, <laughs> Okay, now today I'm, I'm your husband. Yeah, right? <laughs> That's right. I'm gonna taste for you. Let's set aside the tomato. Uh, I will chop up some garlic for you. You said just crush or chop it? Yeah, we could like finely chop and then. I'll uh, finely chop. Mm -hmm. How many? Six or seven of cloves of garlic. Okay. And then we're just gonna add some shallots into to make it a little bit more flavorful. Mm -hmm. The garlic and the shallots is pretty much to uh, saute with the tomatoes. So uh, and a little sugar and a little salt and black pepper. That by itself sounds already pretty yes. awesome to me. Oh, <laughs> I just got through. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever I'm looking at the bun new, there's a, like a two different looks. So one is like a little meatball style on it, yes. and one is more like a floating crab meat. Yeah. So what what is different? It's just different. Reason so you know, or? like um, back in the days, well, pretty much bun new is it's made from freshwater crabs in Vietnam. They're small and they pound it. They pound the crab and they actually get the extract from the crab, uh -huh. and then it goes into the you know the stock to flavor. Mm -hmm. But of course, we're in America. We cook things a little bit differently and we mm -hmm. kind of, you know, style it our own style. You know, back in the days, there was no pork in there. 
Yeah, as ah. far as the meatball it didn't contain pork in there. So the meatball look wasn't actually the signature thing for no. the bunryeo before. Yeah, it's not like exactly. Pork was just a filler uh, to make the crab go big. Yeah, because pork is a lot cheaper than the crab. Yes, Always. and you know that's how the whole meatball for bunryeo was invented. I know a lot of people have mentioned that in our bunryeo video. Why we have the, meatballs and yeah. they look like a bunryeo, but <laughs> if you go little more deeper about the history, yeah. then you will know why. And you know what? Like people always ask, oh my gosh, you know, how come your bunryeo is so good? And I mm -hmm. always tell people why, because I put my heart and soul into it. Aww. And heart and soul is equivalent to your whole wallet in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's so good. <laughs> so now we're going to make the uh, mixture of the crab paste. Okay. okay. The ingredients that goes into the crab mixture would uh -huh. be, um, of course, we use crab, like lump of crab. I mean, uh -huh. you could probably find other you know, uh, crab in a can, but it's more like the claw. Mm -hmm. So we're going all out, we're using the lump crab. This is pretty much uh, equivalent to three Dungeness crabs. We got this at what, Costco? Yeah, we yeah. got it from the Costco. Yeah, if you can't find this and you want to go truly authentic by picking the crab meat, then just get three Dungeness crab, steam it, pick the crab meat from there, and- I'm not doing that right thing. now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a hurry to eat this. I know, one container of the crab meat, and then we have half a pound of ground pork, Okay, so we're gonna mix pork in there too, so that way it kind of stabilizes the crab paste. Mm. So we can actually, um, it's a little bit more firm. If not, of course, it's gonna just float everywhere in the broth. And you know, a lot of families, when they make this, mm -hmm. they normally just use the jars alone. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's just big. So this is a crab paste with soya bean oil. Yeah. So I, I like this brand. This brand, yeah, it is a little bit more expensive, like a dollar or two mm -hmm. more expensive than all the other brands. But mm -hmm. what you want to do is check the ingredient list. Mm -hmm. On here, you'll see that it states six, it's the crab meat is actually the first ingredient uh -huh. with 60% crab mm -hmm. meat, okay? Mm -hmm. So this. it is what you pay for, you get mm -hmm. more crab or less crab, okay? Yeah. And then, so today we're gonna use two jars of this. So now we just dump in everything into the bowl? Yes, go ahead and um, okay. get the crab in. Okay, while you're doing it, um, you said, you mentioned that we need to chop up some yeah. shrimp to add in. So we have about half a pound of shrimp, half mm -hmm. a pound of ground pork, two jars of the crab paste and soybean oil, one container of the lump crab meat. So you want it to be a little chunky or you want it to be like nice and pasty? Like nice and pasty. So this I'm gonna go ahead and add, you know what, I'm gonna probably reserve the oil back. So reserve the oil because you don't want all that oil uh -huh, you know, into the, the mixture. mixture. You could use this oil later to um, pour into the pot. And then of course, um, let me just mix this up real quick and then I'm gonna put the shrimp in there also. Okay. okay. And you know, we don't have to season this at all with any salt or fish uh, fish sauce just because this alone right here is very flavorful already. Ah, uh, I see. Mm -hmm. She turned the shrimp into a paste and like I said, yeah, like I have a food processor, a little chopper, just like a mini food chopper. Yeah. Put that in there, it works the same way. And when they get like this, they are like super sticky too. Like uh, it can be like a bind for yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and place a have two eggs, well actually three eggs in there. Mm -hmm. Like I say, every family makes their bun real different. Like everybody cooks different. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, everybody, everybody, everybody makes everybody cooks different. Same, different you know? yeah. So this is how I always make mine. Uh -huh. And you know, over the and years, your family like, loves. Yeah, they all love it. <laughs> Dump this in. Yeah. Do you want me to mix it with the hand? Yes, please. <laughs> you're like, you're waiting for it. Grind the pork down okay. into it. Like, to probably season with some black pepper. Mm -hmm. A little bit of the oil in here. Mm, I think I break the, the creme too much, huh? It's okay because it's gonna break up either way. So our this creme mixture is done. We're gonna check the broth real quick. Yeah, so we can go ahead and set this aside for now. And mm -hmm. then we're gonna check on the broth and then we're gonna prepare to saute the tomatoes. Ah, nice. Okay, let's clean up a little bit. We'll be back. Yes. So we sauteed it, but we used the oil left over from yeah. the crab jars. The jar. Yeah, so that way it has the, like the, you know, the red color in mm -hmm. there already. We saute with mm -hmm. the shallots first. Over, over medium heat. Yeah, and then garlic. Mm -hmm. And then we add the tomatoes, uh -huh. and then we add a teaspoon of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, and then some black pepper. So how long do you sauté, like one, two minutes? I, I think not I probably long. did it for like not even three minutes, because our tomatoes yeah. are pretty big, and we did use uh -huh. Roma tomatoes, but mm -hmm. they're kind of firm. So if you have softer tomatoes, you might have to do a little less, maybe like okay. two minutes. And you still want the tomato we have that tomatoes to have the texture because they're gonna finish cooking in the soup. Yes. Okay. So we pour out this 
tofu as well. The fried tofu you can easily find at the Asian grocery store. Yeah. Um, these are like the hollow ones. So inside it's a little spongy and hollow. This tofu will soak up all the flavors because oh, you nice. know, Bungryo has tofu in there. So it's one of the main ingredients too. I mean, you can use the other kind too, or if you don't have access to this, then you can fry your own. Is that good? It's already really good, just <laughs> like this. I just need a little more salt, but damn. I gotta take it away before she eats it all. <laughs> so before we place in the crab meat mm -hmm. into the pot, mm -hmm. um, we're gonna go ahead and try to season it again. We're gonna drop two cubes of the seasoning spice powder for Bung Ryo in. I mean, this is just optional. So we'll drop this into the broth and then, mm -hmm. you know, our water did reduce down a little bit. So we'll add about two more quarts of water into the pot. Okay, so um, we did drop the two cubes of the seasoning in. Three to four tablespoons of fish sauce. Fish sauce. Okay. All right, so we brought this big old pot of bon rio broth yes. to add all the ingredients, the last one that we're going to add into the soup, right? Mm -hmm. And we just took it off the stove just so that mm -hmm. way we could show you on camera. Yeah. yeah. But um, if you have it on the stove, um, have it at medium high mm -hmm. so that way it could cook the crab as you drop it in. Okay. So, you know, this is a, a family preference. Uh -huh. Some family rolls, you know, they form their crab paste into like a meatball form. Uh -huh. So like that and then they drop it in but because we have a very high ratio of crab to uh -huh. pork, um, it might not you know stay in that form. Uh -huh. because, uh, so what we're gonna do is uh, how I normally cook it, I just drop whatever amount that we're gonna eat. So mm -hmm. for example, if you're serving for that day, you know that you're gonna serve the whole pot, then yeah, mm -hmm. you could drop the whole entire mixture in. But because it's just uh, Sun Kung and Jacob eating today, um, we're gonna just drop the amount of crab that you guys are gonna eat in there. And then you can always mm -hmm. save it for the next day and ah. you do the same thing. That this is for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then so we have the sauteed tomatoes here. So we're gonna add all of the tomato this time though, right? Yeah, we're gonna add all the tomatoes in, okay. Oh my god, this is gonna be so good. Yeah, and you see from the, we use, uh, we reuse the oil from the crab paste jar. Mm -hmm. And so it gives a natural uh, red color to the stock already. All right, now we are gonna back to the stove, let it boil, how long? Um, you know, until the crab floats up. Oh. And then once it floats up, and then we could probably just do cook it for another like two to three minutes, uh -huh. or just like kind of taste it or watch it. Oh, so, all right. It just depends on how thick your chunk is when you dropped it in. We're so close. We forgot to drop the fried tofu, but we're gonna put it now. Yep. I mean, I won't keep tasting it, obviously. <laughs> but she cannot taste no, she's it. She's been tasting it. She ate almost half the pot. <laughs> I mean, you cannot taste it, so I yeah. have to. I mean, I have, I was doing her pleasure. But right. my seasoning is pretty much on point, right? Yeah, I cannot yeah. even believe it. It was like I, I I can't even believe it. Who can cook like that? I mean, seriously. So now B, right this color right here. So B is going to show us how to. You know, assemble the bowl. Mm, yeah. Assemble the bowl. So the noodles. You want to lay out? You can be the first to do it. Okay. So pick out what you like. You see all the crab paste in there. That I mean, mm -hmm. the crab mixture that floated up. Mm -hmm. And then don't forget your pork riblets down oh, there. Yeah. It's like underneath all the way down here. So it's gonna be like seafood heaven. Remember, in there we have shrimp. We have crab meat, lump crab meat, we uh -huh. have the crab paste from the jar, mm -hmm. we have the spare rib, we have the tofu, we have the tomatoes, sauteed tomatoes too. Mm -hmm. You know, the garnishes are served alongside at the table, yeah, so the guests can yeah, the guests can pick out what um, they want. Mm -hmm. So we have the shrimp paste here, and then we also have extra side of the chili and fish sauce for mm -hmm. those who does not eat shrimp paste. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. I want you to do okay, it for sure. me how like, you would like to. Okay. Or like you should eat like that. So bean sprouts. Cilantro, green leaf lettuce. We eat this in California, so it's a uh, it's optional. But green leaf lettuce is served at a lot of restaurants with bunkyo. So, and of course, you can't miss the perilla leaf. Okay. So perilla leaf is a uh, essential herb for bunkyo. Yes. <laughs> She's been drooling. Mm -hmm. Squeeze a little lime. Yes. And then you could put the shrimp paste if you want, or the chili maybe, if you maybe want. Maybe the chili. I 
because I'm, I'm like my mouth is like <laughs> like I can't even handle. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. Mm -hmm. How can you such a so delicious food that you can't even eat? Does it make sense? Mmm. Oh, you know what? I love that the tomato city part. Mm -hmm. It's really make. Yeah, so uh, tomatoes for sure. That's why it's called crab and tomato noodle soup. Mmm. You gotta that's try the mm -hmm. That's what you gotta try the tofu because the tofu sponge acts and pretty much it soaks up all the flavor. Mm. Oh, can you see that? That looks good. I want you to taste it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I wish it's a beautiful it's been creation. It's fifteen years. <laughs> So and remember, um, you can also add pork blood to this too. The elders or like the older generations, that's how they like their movie with pork mm. blood. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's what I'm saying inside too. Oh my <laughs> I'm sorry guys, but... Are you? <laughs> like a Jacob, poor Jacob. <laughs> I haven't had the pork blood I gotta yet. get out of this. No, I, have I, have I got my blue ball way over here waiting. <laughs> Can you imagine how it'll taste like tomorrow once all the crab flavor soaks into the broth? You know, like everything is always better the next day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See how nice? You don't get mm. a, a chunk of crab like this at the restaurant for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. Not at all. <laughs> you know? Only with Chef B. <laughs> mm. Jacob is like standing there like, all right, feed me too. Oh my god. Dude, get your thumbnail. See, that's how I gotta get out of this frame. I'm gonna go eat up my boomba hoy. Well, look what I got. I got myself boomba. What? <laughs> Does she have to get, she I'm gonna start. <laughs> While I'm digging in, you can make the beauty shot one. <laughs> Please give us thumbs up if you loved this awesome authentic bunyo recipe. This is like the best I've ever had. I actually had it in Vietnam. Yes, it's so good. And subscribe my channel for more inspirations and idea of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching us guys. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Song Yong Long Gast. And I'm B. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget I'm, about me. I'm not, I'm not. Like, all I remember is Bun Leo right now. Bun Leo and me. This is it. Like, you and I. <laughs> and B. And this is it's Asian at home. home. Thank you so much for guys. Bye. Bye. I'm sorry, I can say they're really between this and me. <laughs> I'm scared. Um, What's your favorite part? I actually like the pork. <laughs> oh, that's recording. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Baby. <laughs> Bottoms up. <laughs> Bottoms Who's up. yours, Jacob? Uh, Maybe like, like come over here okay. after after she so says. Explain it. So, and yeah. then I'll Stop. get it close. Okay. Uh -huh. Explain it. Okay. Okay. And then we're gonna probably add about a teaspoon of salt in. We <laughs> said <laughs> wait. Watching us here with Sun Kung Long Yes, and my name is B. I'm Sun Kung Long Yes, and this is Asian at home. Like, what the heck? <laughs> We're like uh, two beers down, a few hours of cooking, <laughs> you're slurping. <laughs> Just Stop. eat your food and get it. <laughs>